Hey, Coin Collectors, it's DC on the Big D, and it's a 1978 Lincoln Penny from the United States. We see the San Francisco Mint here with the S, the Denver Mint here with the D, and then way over to the side here, we see the Philadelphia Mint, the No Mint Mark Penny from 1978. If we flip this coin up, we see it's a smooth edge coin. It weighs 3.11 grams. This is a 95% copper, 5% zinc coin. And both the circulating and the proof coins weigh 3.11 grams. On the back of these coins, we see the Lincoln Memorial, which is in Washington, D.C. It says United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum here. You see Lincoln sitting on the granite chair way down inside the Lincoln Memorial, one cent at the bottom, and then over here on the right we see an F and a G for Frank Gasparo. He was the engraver of the back of this coin, and the memorial cent first came out in 1959. At the Denver Mint they made 4.3 billion pennies in 1978. At a Mint State 65 they're worth $20, the highest they've ever found. Their value is about $1,700. At the Philadelphia Mint, they made $5.5 billion. At a Mint State 65, it goes for about $24. At a Mint State 68, it goes for about $7,750. They only made proof coins at the San Francisco Mint, and you'll see that this is one of the lower quality proof coins you'll ever see. But it has a great S on it. So let's look at that S. It's like a big block of an S, kind of filled in on the top, almost like kind of a Scrabble cube with an S on it. Lincoln facing to the right, Liberty behind him, 1978 under his chin. Way down in here, you can see the V, the D, and the B for Victor David Brenner. And then across the top, it says, In God We Trust. In total, they made 3.2 million at the San Francisco Mint, and they found 52 proof 70 deep cameos that go for about $4,000 each. If you're trying to get these, you can get them in the proof set, you can get them in a mint set, you can get them in penny rolls, or you can just buy them sometimes just individually. You can still get a mint set from 1978 for under $10. Proof set with the S's on them, it's gonna cost you a little closer to $20. Let's take a look at that US mint set from 1978. Sometimes it'll have a little writing on the envelope like this. It'll come on an envelope, it'll say US mint set, 1978 uncirculated coins, Inside there'll be a piece of cardboard and then underneath you'll find a blue and a red set of coins. The blue coins will be from Philadelphia and there won't be any mint mark. And you can see the 1978, the last year of the Eisenhower dollar. And you can see the penny way up here. There's the 1978. These coins are often in pretty good condition. And if you get to open them and look at them at a coin shop or something, you can actually look at what condition they are in. It'll have the penny, the dime, the nickel, the quarter, the Eisenhower dollar, and the Kennedy half. About $3.83 worth of coins in it. And then this one, of course, is the Denver Mint, and you can see the D for the Denver Mint. And then the last thing in the envelope will be another piece of cardboard. So you can get really good quality coins out there in these U.S. Mint sets, and you can often get them for under $10. The proof sets from 1978 are spectacular sometimes, and this is one of them that's been taken out of the case. So they come in a hard plastic case. They made 3.2 million of them. They will come with an Eisenhower, dollar, the last year of the Eisenhower dollar. And the Eisenhower dollar, you can see, the, uses the same size mint mark as all the other coins. So when you look at this S here, it's the same size as the one on the Kennedy, the same size as the one on the penny, which is it's a little odd to think about. And of course, this is the Eisenhower dollar that has an eagle landing on the moon. So if you get a chance to get one of these sets, uh, they're pretty good sets. And as I said, they cost in the 20s. Notice on this one, the Eisenhower dollar is just very, very good. The Kennedy half is just very, very good. The quarter's good. And this happens in any of the sets. You're going to get this kind of disparity. The nickel, you can see some lines on it. The penny, you can see, is not the best penny in the world. It has some, you know, probably some little bit of stains on it, but you can get some amazing color from it. And then the dime is good. So sometimes you can get three or four really high-quality coins from a proof set from 1978. Be very careful if you decide to break them out of the proof set though, because you can do some damage or ruin their value sometimes just by the way you take them out of the proof set. Well, that's all we have today from the Big D Coin Channel. Please subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you have 
in the comments section.